I'm Italian, I'm uh, 23 years old, almost 24, tomorrow is my birthday and uh, I'm a climber, basically a climber and uh, stop this, that's all. I specialize yeah, in rock climbing and uh, sport climbing, not bouldering, not speed and uh, especially competition and uh, rock climbing. Yeah, it's, it suits me because uh, I used to rock climb where maybe responding a project outside is uh, pretty similar. In a competition uh, everything is uh, its on site. Here is a uh, red point, it's uh, basically the same thing, but it's on plastic and uh, but there is a big and strong crew around and uh, it's not always happening in uh, rocks. Most of the, the routes I try I'm alone with, uh, with my girlfriend, uh, so it's, uh, it's funny and uh, it's a good format I think. Uh, I don't like slab, I like uh, really overhanging walls, so I'm a bit powerful and dynamic and my I'm pretty light, so this is this helps me for uh, climbing without feet. Yes, it suits me because it's, I like roofs. I'm pretty pretty strong on roof, I think. Uh, I like uh, small uh, holes. These are more compression holes, like big holes, but uh, I will try it uh, anyway. Yeah, it's, it's great because uh, there are so many different people from different countries, and uh, they're really nice as a person, as a really strong as climber. Uh, we have always different styles because Nale is a buller and uh, Jorge is a all around uh, climber uh, Alex is not climbing <laughs> but <laughs> pro, pro layer, right? <laughs> pro, Alex pro belayer <laughs> and so we're, we're having a lot of fun well there was Stefano Gisolfi and there is Stefano Gisolfi whose birthday is indeed today Stefano has climbed very hard routes. In fact, he climbed only a few weeks ago. First round, first minute. Phenomenally hard route in Margalef, 9B. And in fact, Alex Magos was the B layer. That was his first 9B B lay tick. It's not his first 9B. Stefano Gazolfi also did the first ascent of a 9B in Italy last year. Big shout out to Annie Bertling. She's tuned in in Finland. Louis Parkinson's tuned in in the UK. Kaylian Harker. Mr. Seahawk, Ian Hansen, Alex Laderna, we've got Brett Weiss, Lucas Horch, we've got people tuned in from Thailand, all over the world. It's wonderful to have so many people tuned in. And there you can see Stefano making those first moves through that box section. Stefano is actually the shortest male. He's just a touch taller than Kaiser. But he's incredibly dynamic, has to be being the slightly shorter climber. You see him using that left heel on the sloper. Adam Wallace has tuned in and said, where's the comp being held? This is at Kletter at Telefon Plan here in Stockholm, Sweden. Ian Hansen's asking if I tried the route and I did indeed. You'll be able to see that in the replay. We showed a clip of that. Some very attractive GoPro footage of my face, not. You see Stefano crimping hard on those holes. He makes them look a lot bigger than they are. Lots of Norwegians tuned in. Big right hand crimp, reaches over with the left foot, takes that crimp with the left hand and this is where he needs to cut. Makes the clip with the right and he'll have to roll underneath himself. You see him drop that right knee, there he goes. Pinches that volume and then reaches above his head to clip because this next section is hard. Zara Gripo's got in touch. Of course, that is Stefano Gisolfi's girlfriend. Ciao, Zara. And you see him standing in the seam of that wall, reaches up through those slopers. Of all the climbers in the competition that are here, they all said that they thought Stefano had the best chance of getting the high point. And those slopers are absolutely terrible. Those kill to grip holds, whilst they look big, really in that angle are not as good as Stefano makes them look. Reaches over with the right hand and keep your eye on this next move. Boom! Stefano Gisolfi cruises the dino and asks the crowd for some support and of course they're more than happy to give it to him.
big reach now up for this next sloper. And he's almost in the horizontal section. He's still below the halfway point on the route. Cole Mulders asked, how's the route chosen? Well, it's set by Robert Rundin and Jukka Berglund, who are Klatter setters, both extremely strong climbers. Stefano Gazolfi, of course, won his first World Cup of the season this year in China. It was his only World Cup gold this season. Big roll over with the left hand into the sloper, and he'll match him with the right. Check out this sequence. Up with the left, and he goes again. Oh, he's matched. We saw York go again. Stefano opts in to go with the left, right toe. Look at that, cuts loose. He's fully horizontal now. Pushes hard into it. Look at him go. So strong, and the crowd loving this. 24-year-old Italian is cruising at this point, shaking between the moves, and you can see what's to come. Those kilter grip holds. Very, very tough to hold. Very tough to read as well. This next section, of course, proved the difficult one for them to work out in the beta session. Uh, Magnus Nale and Stefano all had trouble uh, working out the moves, as did Jorg as well. But they did find a sequence that they thought might work. Match, he's in on that block's volume and he hits it. That's a high point. Look at him go, whoa! Unbelievable work from Stefano Gazelfi. Very, very strong.